Hey guys, and I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video here, something I not, don't normally do, but uh, hopefully this helps somebody, but uh, let's let's get into it. So um, today I'll be showing you how to use Virtual Desktop with your Quest Pro. Um, the reason I'm giving this tutorial is because, uh, firstly, Meta... Meta's uh, software for PC is absolutely terrible, terrible, and is unoptimized, and it's just always having issues. For me, when I uh, try to use my Quest Pro with Meta, it just does not say, or it just it just says that the audio is not detected for it. No matter what I've done, I've tried everything. I have formatted the headset. The only thing I haven't done was just completely uninstalled the Meta software from my PC and every bit of its instances or instances but I don't want to go through all that work because that is a lot to do so I went ahead and just did some looking around to see if maybe there's some stuff I could do and I didn't know that virtual desktop now supports uh, the Quest Pro's face and eye tracking and yeah so I'm, I'm gonna show how to do this real quick so the first thing you're gonna need obviously is virtual desktop and I don't remember, I think I bought it on the Oculus Store. Um, I don't know if it matters if you buy it on Steam. Um, I would just be safe though and buy it from the Oculus Store because I, I don't know if it works the same if you buy it from Steam or not. I, I don't know how any of that works. so. If you do not have Virtual Desktop, buy it on the Oculus Store, and then when you do that, it'll give you a few things to do to be able to install this the streamer app for your PC, and then once you get that up, you'll be fine. Now, make sure when you're in this screen, make sure you have it set to your Open XR time to VDXR. And then when you have this opened on uh, on your uh, your quest, there'll be a streamings option right here, and a streamings option, which I wish I was able to show it, but I do not know a way to actually be able to properly record that. But there is a streamings option that'll pop up right about here, and it'll say. Uh, push face and eye something something it'll be it'll say something about face and eye tracking and make sure you check mark that so that it pushes that info to your computer once you've done that you're done with the virtual desktop streamer you don't need to do anything else with this Now, once you've done that, you will need VRC face tracking to be able to go any further with this. Once you have this installed, which just will take a little bit to install and figure out, you will need to download a couple things for it. I don't know if you need this. I I, I couldn't find any guides or anything to figure this out so I just left this installed uh, from my quest software I don't know if that would actually benefit anything if it being installed or not but the one that you will need is the virtual desktop you will need to install this and I believe you will also need to install this which will be at the very bottom. Again, I am not sure about the Quest Pro one. I don't know if you would actually need that, but I just left it installed just in case. Once you install it, you will need to task manager it here. Sometimes that doesn't work either. You'll just have to restart your computer to have these set up properly. And then once you have it set up, if you open your uh, virtual desktop on your Quest Free, 
or quest free, uh, your quest pro, my bad. And then you go here, it should say, or it should give you readings here. As you see, it was doing stuff for me earlier. I'll, I'll show that in a little bit. I'll show that whenever I next get on. And make sure this is this color. Well, not this color. This is just my background or my desktop's color, but whatever your desktop's color is. Like I said, I'm sorry if this guy is a little bit all over the place. It's just I've never really done a guide like this before, and it's a bit different for me. I should also mention if you've never used virtual desktop before, yes, you will still need the Oculus app, but no, you do not need it running. All you need to do is just have it installed. The Oculus app is just there that runs in the background, and only two instances of it runs when this is being used. Another thing, uh, make sure your headset is connected on the same Wi-Fi as your PC. If you, if your headset is having issues finding your PC, you may need this to make sure to have it on the same connection. And just a pro tip. Make sure you have it on, if you have it available, have it on your 5 gigahertz connection, not your 2.4. If you have it on 2.4, you will most likely get screen jitter and all sorts of unfun things. So use the 5, or if you have it available, use your 5 gigahertz connection on the headset. Thank you. 